Are Germany's society and economic foundation collapsing? And does the country have the means to survive this long winter? Especially when the power supplies are draining out. The risk of a market crash or an economic downturn is increasing in Germany and its foundations are collapsing in terms of manufacturing and consumer confidence. Can you just contextualize for us the situation for Germany coming up to winter and beyond? Yeah, so we are really in dire straits on the gas market. The Germany prices have been skyrocketing. Consumers will soon feel this in their pockets as well, as there's the new gas levy, and so prices will be increased for end consumers as well. Energy prices in Germany had peaked at threatening and alarming levels. The European gas and energy crisis is one of the worst in the continent's 80-year history with an overage of 10.1% year-over-year increase in food, energy and service crisis. That said, will the country be able to operate the same as it did before the war and the pandemic? And how will it balance its economy? In this video, we will. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to Financial Countdown and ring the bell to be notified when new content comes out. No one can deny that Russian energy imports were a vital element for the European economy. And by cutting them off, some countries are looking for more reliable resources to balance their energy supplies. Inflation is persisting in making things hard on Germany and the whole world. Sort of speaking, the country hasn't seen a higher increase in food and consumer products since the days of the Weimar Republic. Experts had drawn up a list of the most anticipated worst-case scenarios. An urgent need for action. Germany's government is beginning two days of talks aimed at tackling the energy crisis that's driving up the cost of living. Leading politicians have been gathered at a palace outside of Berlin, where they're due to discuss how to bring soaring gas and electricity bills under control. Among possible measures, the coalition partners are set to debate whether the lives of Germany's remaining nuclear power plants should be extended. The talks come as new inflation data underlines the increasing financial burden facing German households. Blackouts and market crashes were among the top scenarios. Germany, one of the world's most advanced economies in terms of manufacturing and technology, is currently closing, planning to close, or limiting its operations until further notice. Its manufacturing industry accounts for one-fifth of the total economy, which raises serious concerns among investors. European stocks are under enormous pressure as a result of poor or ineffective government decision-making, higher interest rates and inflation. As stated before, the German economy relies more on the manufacturing and medical sectors, and both sectors run on a high level of power to ensure delivering the best results and maintaining a top position in the market. Well, I've been speaking to Fritzi Köhler geib who is Chief Economist at the German Development Bank, KFW. I asked her whether the German government's existing attempts to cushion the impact of soaring costs have worked. I think that uh, we have seen a uh, less fast increase in inflation in the past few months uh, and there was some moderating impact through the government support measures. As you said, they are fading out at the end of this month. And for the reading that we're going to see this afternoon, I expect that the rates will be similar for German inflation as they have been last month. For the next month, I do expect that rates start increasing again. And that has to do with the fact that those support measures are then not any further in place. The question here is whether things will get worse before they get better, and to what degree the Germans must endure before they see the light or hope to get to normal price levels. In July, reports from German news stated that the giant gas company was losing an estimate $100 million daily due to the gas cuts. The German wholesale electricity feature increased from 172 euros to 390 euros per year as of July 2022. Furthermore, 
the energy bills are expected to increase by 100% by the end of 2023 or even higher. So Germany is now striving to install new LNG facilities, floating facilities, so they can be established quite soon, maybe even by the end of the year. At least this is what the government uh, wants to have. And it would make about 15 percent, 10 to 15 percent of German consumption could be then imported via LNG, uh, for instance, uh, through US LNG or other sources as well. Marketers forecast that most companies' energy costs will increase by at least a full percentage in the first half of 2023. All these indicators support a blackout scenario, especially when there are no reliable energy resources at the moment. The global energy crisis has led the German government to impose a new gas tax on households. The increased rates will be effective from the 1st of October and last till 2024 April. Under the new levy, an average family of four is expected to pay almost $500 more per year. And businesses will also be subjected to these new charges. The German officials said the gas levy was necessary to support energy companies. They said that additional support for households would also accompany the levy. For a long-term scenario, it's more likely to see a long-term power outage or even several days of an energy blackout. The war between Ukraine and Russia is the main driver of the high prices. And German consumer sentiments for August, they have plunged to an all-time low amid lingering concerns about rising energy, food prices and short gas supplies, this according to a key survey there. The pollster GFK's forward-looking barometer has fallen to minus 30.6 points for August. This followed a revised July reading of minus 27.7 points. Rising energy prices and short gas and oil supplies might cause a long-term power outage in turn, that might cause several days of blackouts. According to Karsten Bozeski, a chief economist at IGN, the full impact of higher energy prices will be noticed by the end of the year. As we head into the end of the fourth quarter, and, unfortunately, as the winter gets closer, the probability of a power outage increases day by day. Germany, and the surrounding urban countries are in search of other natural gas and oil suppliers. The United States was one of the top natural gas providers after the war. Several European Union members, however, expressed reservations about the United States exploitation. So what's the solution? In such circumstances, the government might resolve the problem by making the power outage a means of leverage to balance the economy. Your opinion is very important to us. You can leave it in the comment box below this video. Thanks for watching.